absolutely love hitting pan on eyeshadows. So today I wanted to share with you all of the eyeshadow pans I hit in the first quarter of 2024. So I have hit 15 pans in the last three months, which I think is really, really good. Can be better. However, I am working on finishing a lot of eyeshadows right now. And that obviously means hitting pan sometimes takes a little bit of a back seat. However, I have all of the pans that I have hit in the first quarter here. I did do a video ranking all of these. So if you did miss that, I will link it up in the cards. I think it's really interesting to see what shades I liked, what shades I didn't like but I have hit pan on all of them nonetheless but just before we do jump into the video if you have not already you know what to do like and subscribe I love project panning and bright fun colorful makeup here on this channel I love talking about mental health and being open and honest with you guys which I think needs to happen more online because it really annoys me when people put only the best foot forward I get it but are you really that happy Jessica are you really so I'm gonna show you guys all of these juicy pans. So take a seat, get a drink, get a snack, and we will commence into the video. So the first pan of 2024 came from my Book of Magic palette, and it was the shade Vanish. It seems like a million years ago since I hit this pan, but this is what it looks like. Hopefully you can see it there. I do have pictures of all of these, so I will definitely put them on screen for a closer look. This was just an everyday lid setting shade, very, very easy. I always use a lid setting shade. First thing I do when I do my eyeshadow, just because my lid can get a little bit oily. I like to have a base on them and this was super easy. Just every day dip in, set the lid and then be on your way. I love hitting pan and finishing lid setting shades and you will see quite a few of them in this video. I hit that on the 8th of January and it was in a Project Level Up palette. A lot of these shades will be in this video for Project Level Up because there's a lot of pans in here. <laughs> Next, I have the shade Pug from the Soph X Revolution palette. And as you can see, it's got a massive pan on this. I am trying to finish this shade. Now the Sofax Revolution palette obviously was a full palette, but I did decide to depot all of the shades before I started to work on it as my 2024 pan that palette. I just thought it'd be easier, a fresh start, repress them all, no pans, and then we can see how many pans we hit throughout the year. This is definitely gonna be my first shade to be finished in this palette. I mean, you can see, look at this. This is not a small pan by any means and it is very, very thin in this pan as well. I'm so excited to finish this. I actually just finished filming my Pan That Palette update. This is the one that I am most excited for. I cannot wait. I love these taupey shades. I am very excited to finish it, but I'm also very nervous to finish it because I just love those shades so much and I don't want to be without it. <laughs> I also hit that on the 8th of January as well. And as I said, that was in a Pan That Palette. Next was a shade that actually wasn't in a project and it came from my She Glam Chromosome palette. It is this blue blue duochrome here. I actually hit pan on this doing a winged liner with it and I love this shade. However, I hate how little product you get in here. I think all of these shades together are about four grams, which is crazy. That is insane. I hit that on the 15th of January. I absolutely love this shade. The shades in this are nice, but I just have some issues with it. I did do a video reviewing all my eyeshadow palettes and I go more in depth about this palette in that video. So if you are intrigued, I will link it up in the cards, of course. I have mixed feelings about this. I never know if I like it. I never know if I don't like it. It's one of those. Next, we're going back to the Book of Magic and this is the shade Moonlight. This shade I used as an inner corner. And again, it might be a little bit tricky to see this pan because the pan and the shade are very, very close. I don't really like this shade it's one of those very putty like shades it's very very hard to apply with a brush you get pretty much no payoff when you use it with a brush so I had to use my fingers dot it on my inner corner using it that way was nice but I would like to use it in other ways you know very tiny pan I hit this on the 17th of January and again this was part of the project level up challenge I am nervous to start my level two palette as well coming up very soon hopefully I get a good palette Palette and hopefully I can get that done. That project does stress me out. I'm not gonna lie. Sophie, you stress me out, girl. <laughs> 
Next we have another lid setting shade. This is my Bella Pierre All Stars palette and this is my Pan That palette in order. As I said, I love hitting pan on lid setting shades. I think they are so easy to use, so easy to incorporate and I'm so excited to have another pan in this palette. I hit this on the 19th of January and then a little bit out of order, even though this palette is the Pan That palette in order, we're gonna go back to this shade here, which is this orangey duochrome shade. I have issues with this shade. I don't really like this shade, but I have hit pan on it. I hit pan on it on the 23rd of January. Slightly out of order. We went a little bit rogue there, but that's fine. That's fine. This shade is so interesting. I've spoken about this so many times. It is orange, but it has this really icy white flip to it. So in some lights it's warm toned, in some lights it's cool toned. I don't really know how to pair it, but I don't have to worry about it anymore because I hit pan on it and I was swiftly moving on from that. Next, we're going back to my Depotted Soph X Revolution palette. This is the shade Cup of Tea. Of course, this was in my Pan That palette. I absolutely love this shade. It is like Pug's Warm Toned Sister. I hit this on the 25th of January. So January was a really good month for pans, to be honest. Uh, February, March can't relate. <laughs> but it is just such an easy everyday eyeshadow. I'm very excited to keep working on this. I don't think it will take long to finish it. It is also very, very thin in the pan, but it is competing with Realgar in my Modern Renaissance, which I'm trying to finish. So swings and roundabouts there. Sticking with the Soph X Revolution, next we have Nightmare, which is the black shade. I use this as a winged liner quite a lot. And you guys also know I love starting a lot of my looks with a black. I love depth. I love grungy kind of looks. And this shade is perfect for that. I hit this on the 12th of February, so a little bit of a jump forward here, and this starts the trend of few and far between when it comes to eyeshadow pans. I need to get on that. I need to get on it. I know, I know. But I think this will be done by the end of the year. I'm slow but steady when it comes to finishing black eyeshadow shades. I think it won't take too long. I already have a huge pan in this. It's about halfway deep in this pan, so not too much product. I'm feeling confident with this one. Next, we have a new palette. It is the Odin's Eye Christmas Eve palette and we're going to be talking about the shade Blue Eyes here. This was in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project and it is so beautiful. It is stunning. It is one of those super PC blue shimmers which I absolutely love. I know a lot of people don't like them. I don't know. I, I don't know how your brain works. I absolutely adore them so much. I hit this on the 16th of February, so pretty close to the last one. And I was gutted when this rolled out, to be honest. I loved using it so much. I used it as a nail polish quite a lot before I got my nails professionally done. And again, I'm going to plug my nails. Look how beautiful they are. <laughs> I think I've plugged my nails in every single video for the past few videos. So I'm so sorry about that. I'm just so buzzing. Blue Ice, mwah, love you. Hopefully I can get more use on it very soon because I actually do love this shade so much. So next is my Pan That Palette in order or maybe not so in order <laughs> because now we're gonna talk about this pink shade here. Yeah, we're, we're out of order yet again. I hit this on the 21st of February and I was getting quite concerned because obviously the next shade in order would be this shade, but I knew I wouldn't have pan in time for the update. So I thought I'm gonna have at least one pan. This had a massive dip in it. I knew I could hit pan in only a few uses. So I would rather come on camera with a pan rather than no pan, even if it was slightly out of order. This shade, it's it's kind of similar to what I'm wearing today, but it is a little bit more pink toned. I'm not a pink girl, okay? Even though I'm kind of wearing pinks today, this is more red for me. Pink's not a fan of. As I said, I already had a massive pan in it anyway. It did not take long to hit pan at all. I think it literally took two uses. I have a pan, slightly out of order, but that's fine, that's fine. Shh. It's fine. I hit that on the 21st of February. Next, we have another Soph X Revolution shade. This is the shade Pink Champagne, and it is the shade that I'm wearing on my inner corners today. It's a really nice inner corner shade. It's a really nice highlight shade as well. So I hit that on the 28th of February. So these shades are pretty close together. Mid-February was quite good. I seem to have ebbs and flows when it comes to hitting pan. I'll hit so many pans in one week and then nothing for the rest of the month. It's a little bit weird, but 
I don't know, I don't know. I didn't really like this shade at first, but I've actually started to like it a lot more. It has quite a big pan on it, to be honest, right now. So I don't think it'll take too long to finish. Again, very thin in the pan. The same as all of these Sofex Revolution shades, really. They did have massive pans on them when they were in the palette. So then when I repressed them, there wasn't too much product in the pan. So they're all very, very thin, which makes them really, really easy to pan. So I'm not, I'm not complaining at all. <laughs> Keeping with the Sofex Revolution palette, this is the shade Peaches. This was actually decluttered. Um, and I just haven't got around to decluttering yet because I wanted to show you the pan. I wanted to show you this. Hopefully you can see, I'm not too, yeah, you can see that, you can see that. I ended up using this as a blush a few times and I actually hit pan on this on the 2nd of March. So we're moving forward now into March. I knew I would not be using this shade on my eyes. So I thought using it as a blush would be the best option but I'm not a fan of this shade really. And it is one of the reasons why I decided to declutter it. I'm so much happier with my new Pan That palette. I did just film that update. I'm not sure if it's already gone live when you're seeing this. If this video goes live before or after that, I don't know. But I think it's a stunning shade. Um, It's just not for me. Not for me. Bella Pierre, we're back again. And again, slightly out of order. We are talking about this shade here. I use this as a bronzer a lot. I didn't really use it as a eyeshadow just because I was kind of in the groove of my neutral eyeshadow panning. I don't know, does that make sense? I just wanted to use other shades when it came to neutral eyeshadows and this worked really well as a bronzer. You can see it is very, very thin in this pan because I was using such a big fluffy brush with it. I hit pan on this on the 4th of March, so pretty happy about that. It is the tiny, tiny, tiniest pan, but it is pan nonetheless. And that means I'm now working on this shimmer shade here. I'm a little bit nervous about this shade, not gonna lie, because it is quite dark and I'm not really a fan of super dark shimmers, but I will push past, I will prevail, I will do it, I am determined. <laughs> Next, we have another new palette. It is the Carnival XL Pro. I love this palette so much. And I'm gonna turn it on its side because we're talking about this shade here, which is the shade Pillow Talk. There is a big pan in this and that is because I'm trying to finish it completely. I did say hitting pan on lid setting shades is very, very easy for me. And I decided, hey, why not try and finish this shade? So that's what I'm gonna try and do. Look at that, big, big, big pan. I hit pan on this on the 6th of March. So I've had a little under a month of solely expanding this pan. And I think I've done a pretty good job here. If I didn't choose to finish this, I would have just jumped on to another lid setting shade, probably have hit pan on it by now and just kept jumping, 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 jumping through all of my lid setting shades. But I thought, why not try and finish one? So that's what I'm going to try and do. How long do you think it'll take me to finish this? Let me know down below. And finally, last but definitely not least, this is Food Videos from J Star. I hit pan on this on the 7th of March and this is stunning. I love a pop of neon yellow. It goes with literally every single color of the rainbow and I just think it brightens up a look. It makes a look a little bit more different and I just, I love it so much. This pan is super, super, super tiny but I absolutely adore it. I love this shade so much and this was the last shade that I hit pan on nearly a month ago now, three weeks ago, three weeks of no pans, which is not very good. I don't know, maybe I'm in a little bit of a block maybe, but I'm hoping that April will have at least five eyeshadow pans. That's what I'm trying to aim for. Five eyeshadow pans in April. Do you think I'll be able to do it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let me know. But this is it. This is the end of this video. How many eyeshadow pans have you hit this year? Let me know down below. Have you beat my 15 or are you just a little bit out? I hope you did like this video. If you did, like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye-bye.